May we now invite you, Your Excellence, uh, to greet this congregation that you are meeting with for the first time. Thank you very much. I'm Wine Fasipula Shangwe. Shangwe. Yeah, um, let me start by expressing our delight to recognize, as we recognize, our bishop, Bishop Chinyemba your team here at this church, beautiful church. I love heritage myself, and I always look around and admire. So your leadership here, Mwamongu Shangwe, but also your team in the whole Mongu diocese for the good work you're doing for the Lord. Thank you very much. Let me recognize my colleagues that I'm with all of them, cabinet colleagues, members of parliament, mayor of Mongo, who carries a big responsibility following your message today. Your homily. We all carry very serious responsibilities. But also the councillors, central government workers, PS represented by the PS, and the local government. Your colleagues are the mayors, DCs that are here. I simply want to say all the worshippers. All the worshippers that are here today to worship our Lord with in this church. Bishop Chinyemba, your message is loud and clear. Very loud and clear. What a good shepherd must do. We who sit here are seated here. Those that are listening via the electronic media, because in today's world, you can't hide. You are being watched every moment. Is to emulate, first to get a message from Bishop Chinyemba, the homily. What a good shepherd does with those that they work with. I believe that's a big lesson today which we must take in, suck in, and contemplate around it. The example of the best shepherd, Mudisanawamunde, Jesus Christ himself, I think is clear. So Bishop, thank you for that message. We understand it. We take it, and we must practice it. You cannot be a good shepherd if you don't love the people that you are serving. Not possible. You cannot be a good shepherd if you don't draw in people, inclusiveness. in the church, this church, this our Catholic church, in the body of Christ as a whole. We say we are a Christian nation, so inclusiveness in this church, Catholic church, 
in the other churches. You cannot be a good Murisana if you do not as expose unity. Yes, inclusiveness, but unity. All of those messages we hear Bishop Chinyamba. But I want to add one thing, and I'm very, very passionate about this thing. To be a good shepherd, we must lead by example through hard work ourselves. Those of us in public office, community leaders, traditional leaders, we must work hard. I'm sorry, Bishop, since the people of Zambia put me in office to be their servant, to be their Murisan, one Monday, following Jesus, I have picked one challenge that the country had begun to believe that you can get or have a good life without working. You just sit. You just sit at home. You're a pupil. You don't pay attention in school. You are in college, you don't pay attention. In college, you are given a job, a nurse, a teacher. You don't want to teach. But at the month end, you want a big salary. Mm -mm. I corner. I corner. I corner. We have to work hard as a country. Even in good times when the rains are good, we must work hard to produce the food that God would have conferred to us through the good rains. Climate change is here to stay. So I want to ask us, leaders of all types, even at the family level, many of our children are raised by single mothers. And they work very hard. Those single mothers work very hard. But so, we leaders of the family, communities, as the bishop said, councillor, member of parliament, minister, out of 20 million people, he is a provincial minister, Western province. There are many others who could have been. We must justify. This president here must justify why he is the servant of the people out of 20 million citizens. We must work hard. We must be responsible. We must be fair. I think then we can emulate Mulisana Amund. Very briefly, Bishop, I won't abuse this platform because that's what we shouldn't be doing as public workers. And that's why I was very happy yesterday to be an ordinary guest at Komboka, where I have come to for 30 years or so. I don't have to be the guest of honor. We servants of the people. But my message, is very simple. We have a duty to do what is right for God's people. That duty is in good times, as you preached, but in difficult times, such as the drought induced by climate change. And as I said, climate change is here to stay. So we should do our best as good shepherds, even in such difficult times. But to achieve that which is the best, we must acknowledge the challenges, our inabilities, and that someone next door has the skill that we are looking for, for us to serve the people better. Mulimus people. So that calls for teamwork. And I want to say, Bishop Chinyemba, 
we will work with all the Zambian team members, communities at the grassroots, churches. Early this morning, the bishop sent me a WhatsApp message. Early this morning, and I read it, I sent my response. I hope you got my response. And I said, thank you for the advice. Because he was pointing to me that in the Catholic Church, the main partner in this drought situation feeding the people is basically the Caritas. Because I've been saying the Catholic Relief Service out of ignorance. And he educated me this morning. So we will work with the church, the Caritas, different units as the structures in this church. And there's no need for us to reinvent the wheel. Let's utilize the platforms that are already well established in this church. And I send this message to my colleague. I was whispering to Minister Mwimbu that you sit in that committee, disaster committee, the Minister of Community Development there. Let's utilize the structures of our country in the churches, in the NGO civil society, so we can deliver food for our people who are in need. I thought I should emphasize that. I have the Deputy Secretary to the Cabinet here, who was an altar boy in this church many years back. Bokala boy here. I'm with me, I'm with me, I'm with me. I'm with me. He was an altar boy here. So he knows the systems in this church. So bring that knowledge to the committee's website up so we can deliver effectively to God's people in need. That's my message, Bishop. And as we get back to Lusaka, now that we've done the numbers, we've done the categorizations of the support that is required based on the need assessment, we will be sitting and later after cabinet committee will ask for the church and other, this church and other churches to sit with us so that we can provide clarity on how we can close the gaps. As I have been here, I've been picking that, oh, there's no food. Walukona. No food in Sishekan. Silue. Lui Luanyao. Ndanda, Nangula, Usha, Mbanga. Nipotezibulozi, nazibabulozi, ahulushani. So it is that information we're picking, and also from you and your structures, we want to pick that information, then consolidate it within the committees, so we can move quickly to save God's people. I think that's what a good shepherd must do. They cannot do it alone. We do it as a team. You can do it as a team.